Today, I'm very happy to say I've reached a milestone in my career. I've left my day job and now get to work for Pwn CNC full time. I will have more time for my family, more time for building awesome CNC accessories. Where before my time was extremely limited, basically nights and weekends, I'm now full time focused on making our products more fun, more awesome, and more productive, of course. Let me share with you how we've been working for the past few months in our new warehouse during those nights and weekends. Mm. All orders come through here. This is my wife's packing and shipping area. If you don't know, she started helping Pwn CNC a little over a year ago, um, packing up everybody's orders, and getting labeled and out the door. This is where all of our finished products are stored. These bins store products which are ready to be picked for incoming orders. I take everybody's orders, print them out, spread them out on these two tables. I grab a clear bin, grab your order, and start picking all the order, all the parts or all the products for that order. I place it over there where my wife grabs it, boxes it up, labels it, and out the door. We're currently about one-third capacity here at our new warehouse. These 14 printers have been pumping out parts like crazy, about 10 to 16 hours a day um, for the past month at least. Further back in the warehouse is our CO2 laser. It took a while to get this over from my garage, uh, but it's here now and it's ready to put it to work. We have the vent installed, which goes straight out the back, um, just vents right outside. Um, we've got the fan, we've got it all hooked up. It is ready to start pumping out parts. Uh, this is actually the reason why our V10 has been a little delayed. Um, I've had Clinton and Rick working on uh, acrylic parts. Basically, I have to outsource them in order to get them in. It's taking a little longer because of shipping and, and, and some delays there. But now that we're laser here, now that the laser is here, <laughs> I can actually start shipping out, uh, making the parts myself, which means we can actually start shipping V10s this week. We now have seven high school teens working here part-time after school. And now that summer is here, they're going to start working here a little more often, which means we're going to get a lot more work done. Um, as part of the fringe benefits, not only the high pay, uh, knowledgeable information, like a knowledge sharing, basically. I'm, telling, I'm teaching them everything I know, um, from making, from soldering, to 3D printing, all of it. Besides those benefits, we also get free snacks and drinks. And did I mention your support and generosity um, from ordering our parts and your loyalty, all of it, goes to allow us to be generous with them. So for that, I am forever thankful. They're learning loads of information, um, lots of it very valuable for their futures. Many of them want to become engineers, um, aerospace engineers, architects, it's programmers even. It is very cool and you guys make that happen and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. This is where I've been doing some minor woodworking as we've been setting up the warehouse. Everything from cutting pallet rack shelving to uh, uh, the walls for our bins, all of that. It's all been done here. Hidden underneath all of this filament is a, uh, is a table saw. It's all set up with our dust collector over here. I have my uh, chop saw here and of course I got some more bamboo printers that are waiting to be set up, all kinds of filament. Much of this is going to change dramatically over the next two weeks, which is why I wanted to record this now so you guys can see how far we've come here in a few weeks whenever I release another video when it's all set up. It's going to be so beautiful. I'm glad you guys are here for the journey. These racks were pulled over from our storage area. This is where we uh, store much of our supplies um, in, in our transition period. We've got uh, excess cables, um, spindle cables down here on the bottom, lots of control cables up here on top, all of our screws, magnets, um, supplies for VF VFDs um, for our spindle kits. Um, I even have some of my spare machines here, some of the smaller ones like the Shipoko 3. Right behind it, I've got a Millwright. Over here on the floor behind the camera, I've got the CNC for newbies and the uh, open builds. And of course, right next to it is the uh, Onefinity Elite. But this is kind of our storage area, and this is all going to be much, it's 
skull going to be cleaned up, right? So after we finish painting the full-size pallet racks, get them up, that's going to line the wall 12 feet high, and there are four of them at 12 feet wide. So we're going to have tons of storage space. All this is going to be put up and better organized so we can quickly access it and uh, put products together a lot faster, right? And that's, that's the goal. We asked and you guys overwhelmingly insisted that we paint our pallet racks uh, black and yellow to match our company colors. So that's exactly what we did. We went out and purchased a, uh, a Fuji sprayer. Uh, very nice. If you uh, don't have one, definitely go uh, look into that. It makes putting on acrylic and all that, or yeah, polyurethane and all that stuff very nice. But um, we care, we've sanded down all of these uh, beams. Um, in fact, I'm covered in orange dust right now just from touching them. But we've sanded them all down. We're going to wipe them down uh, with a microfiber cloth. Then we're going to take it out back where we have a couple of tents set up um, with the sprayer. So we're going to spray all that down. I'll take some photos this week, um, post it up on Instagram so you guys can see what that looks like. But once these are set up, once once they're painted and dried in the sun, bring them inside, set them up on the, set up all the pallet racks, get everything rearranged um, up onto the pallet racks for storage. Um, it is going to look so nice. As you this is where all the magic is happening. Until we have all our pallet racks fully assembled, this is the only store. This is the only service space we have in the entire warehouse for putting together products, uh, spindle kits, and that sort of thing. This space is basically where all of the manufacturing happens. Um, whenever I have the teams coming in in the afternoon, I've already set up various stations around this table for uh, manufacturing tasks, like putting together the VFD enclosures. Um, programming them, uh, putting heat inserts in. That's what we've got here. Um, we've got the magnet station over there. Once our pallet racks are fully assembled, we'll have 24 feet of additional workspace so that we can set up a proper wiring station, soldering station, where we can assemble and test and validate wires. Um, we've got another section over there for um, testing spindle kits, plugging them up to various controllers, making sure that they actually function properly. We also have a section dedicated for our fiber laser, which is actually back at my where, uh, my garage right now. Until we have that space, I can't move it over because there's no place to use it, and I need to be able to use it. But we're gonna have uh, 24 feet more of, of functional workspace. We're also gonna have a couple more workbenches here, which gives us a massive four feet wide by, what is it? Uh, 24 feet long um, store uh, uh, surface space for assembling works uh, uh, VFDs and all of that stuff. It's going to be awesome. Get a good look. This warehouse is about to go through a ton of exciting changes ahead of our ribbon cutting and open house here on June 2nd. Everyone is invited to join either virtually or in person. We'll live stream the ribbon cutting itself for anyone who's not able to attend. We'll also give another tour video here right afterwards so that you guys can see all of the beautiful changes that we've made and how that's going to improve our productivity and increase our uh, shipping rates and all that. It's going to be fun. What better way to celebrate the, my new job <laughs> than to have a sale? For those of you who don't know, every year we have two huge sales with one day only 20% off everything. Our, we call them you know, we've got Black Friday, of course, and we've got Yellow Friday. We all know when Black Friday is, but Yellow Friday is exactly six months later, which coincidentally is this coming Friday, May 26th. Sign up for our newsletter to stay in the loop and subscribe to our YouTube channel for way more content as I now work for Pwn CNC full time. Thank you all for your support and being such wonderful customers. Stay tuned for more awesomeness to come as I work here full time. Oh, don't forget, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.